Bray comes out to give us a tour of the Thunderdome with his puppets. And he's- by the way, I thought I thought that I thought you know like I, I I mean Bray Wyatt is very creative and all that, but this segment was terrible. I think this was the worst segment in the whole show. Was that freaking thing with 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 um Bray Wyatt and it? It's like I think that one of the reasons is because it's like. Bray Wyatt is supposed to be a baby face. He comes out there and you can hear everyone cheer for him because that's what they're supposed to do. And I just watch this and go like, this is like not a baby face whatsoever. He's out there running down Randy Orton and he's telling these stupid jokes and the puppets laugh. They show all these people in the Thunderdome screams laughing. I'm like, come on. And finally, Randy shows up on the big screen. He's supposed to be a heel. He says... When the Fiend showed up, he was outmaneuvered. Not by you, Bray, he says, but by him. So, in fact, Dave, you were right. Randy Orton thinks that Bray Wyatt and the Fiend are two completely different people. Even though they're there at the same time. He says Bray should come pay a visit to him tonight. Let's play a game, Randy Orton says, of hide and seek. And Bray accepts. And Randy says, come find me. Bray vows to find him. We have Ricochet versus Mace. Here's a story. I'm not making it up. Ricochet has to go through all these guys to get to Ali, but all the guys beat him on the way to Ali. He lost last week. Mm -hmm. This week he faces Mace. He loses again. Not only does he lose, but it's not even like he loses in a heel way. He just lost. Yeah. Ali hits him with a lowdown. Ricochet kicks out. I'm sorry, uh, Mace hits him with the D- a low down. Ricochet kicks out. All he says, put him down. And so Mace hits another move and pins him. Yeah. Bray is looking for Randy. He runs into a riddle. Riddle talks about bro nouns. Bray's a fucking baby face, and he runs off. And then Riddle has the rabbit sign a carrot for him. This show sucks. Oh, yeah. Shayna's facing Dana Brooke. They go a minute. Nia knocks Dana off the ropes for the DQ. Mandy runs down to make the save. She has a fucking kendo stick, and the heels still beat her up. And finally, Oscar runs down, so it is three on two advantage baby faces, and they finally run off the two heels. Truth is doing a promo, talking to Huskis. Bray finds them. We have stupid comedy. Bray runs off to play hide-and-seek. He's still looking around backstage. He finds a rocking chair. Like an idiot, he sits in it. Randy shows up, beats his ass. So, for the record, those of you on Wikipedia, Randy Orton defeated Bray Wyatt in hide-and-seek. He found him. He puts him in a box. He pours gasoline on it. He throws a match on the box. The fucking announcers are sitting there just saying in a hushed tone, I can't believe it. Bray Wyatt is in that box. Like he's being burned up. (laughs) <laughs> and the fiend then shows up and he puts Randy out with the mandible claw. Yeah, so he he showed up. Death so, television. I guess I I you know, I mean he was like being burned to death and he comes out of it fine because he's got his mask and his superpowers. But the thing is now he's got his superpowers. I mean, maybe but, Bray's but, burned to death. Yeah, whatever. But the, he's got his mask and his superpowers. So now Randy's got no chance to have. Can you can you imagine? Think about this. Can you imagine this Bray Wyatt and, and Randy Orton match? It's, it's, oh, God. That's a scary thought right now. Matt Riddle faces MVP. One minute, Riddle pins him with a floating bro. Lashley hits the ring. Riddle leaves and takes his donuts. That was the entire segment. And finally, the Ascension Ceremony. AJ and Drew come out. And Tom Phillips says, we're here to hang the belt and then you two can address each other. And they each cut a promo. AJ makes fun of him for taking 19 years to become champion in WWE. It's like, bro, you know how long it took you to get to WWE and become champion? I think 19 years. Okay, but here's, here's you know what's, what's bad about this? Is when you say 19 years, okay, now, now Drew started wrestling when he was 16, so he's like 35, roughly, right? 34, 35, something like that. But you say 19 years, and people are thinking, God, he's 40? Because that's what I, you know, if you didn't know better, you'd go, he's 42. You know, it's like everybody here is so freaking old. I mean, you know, I mean, because like, let's say it, Miz has been around forever. Morrison's been around forever. I mean, they were freaking tough enough guys like 
whatever it was, 16, 17 years ago. Um, no one, no wonder like they're, they're aging out this audience because everybody, oh God. Anyway. Drew cuts a promo. He's excited to wrestle AJ. He's going to tear him apart Sunday. They raise the belt. This dramatic music plays. And then AJ says, and I quote, it's not just me that you have to face in a TLC match. And Miz and Morrison hit the ring, and they attack Drew, and then they chop lock him, and they beat him up, and they hit him with a ladder, and they destroy him. Almost throws his steps into the ring. They destroy him more. Styles hits a flying elbow off a ladder through a table, and then he climbs up and grabs belt. So I guess what they told me as a fan is on Sunday, Drew is going to do a TLC match against at least three dudes and maybe four. Well, three dudes and a guy standing on the floor. Yes. Yeah. And he'll probably still win. Well, I'm uh, sure he'll win, but I mean, I'm supposed to be excited to see a match with Miz Morrison and AJ all just beating up Drew for like 30 minutes before he climbs up and gets the belt. Especially like December 20th when it's like, you know what I mean? It's like, I mean, if you're like a hot promotion, it doesn't matter what day you run. You're a hot promotion. But when you're not a hot promotion, December 20th to me sounds, it feels like a bad day for a show. You know, you got all these sports going on and um, it's not even that. It's like five days before Christmas. Like, after Christmas is a good day, but right before Christmas, not so good. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.